Okay. Well, hopefully this doesn't mess up. So, hello. It's been... What? Five, six months since I last streamed? Uh, my TV was broken for that whole time. Uh, as such... Oh, let me actually check my audio really quick. This should have been the first thing I did. Is that really quiet for some reason? Yeah. Let's test this. That seems to be fine. Okay, so hello everyone. I'm back. Streaming. I've been away for six months or so because my TV was broken the whole time. Don't exactly have access to some sort of steady income supply for getting that. But it's really nice TV. And uh, if my audio is messed up, I will fix it when I get in-game. There's no, as you can see, options menu. So let's start a new game. Obviously. Got that book. Let's see, what do we got? This would be a Toriyama character. That color of hair. Uh, there we go. What do we got? Got a lot of choices. Wow, that's like irsh. What is the difference between these? Oh, I see. Oh, wow. This is like almost a red character. Um, there we go. Eyes. There's no, uh, heterochromia. Does Sephiroth have, like, completely blank eyes? I'm, like, terrible at doing this stuff. Uh, let's see. That doesn't work just because, like... Um, what was I going with? I think this. Confirm. Do I like that hair color? I think that's Bulma, right? I think I like that a little bit more. Got to insert the name. That's the one I always use. Yep. Uh, you can now adjust the settings. Oh, good. Why the heck couldn't I do this before? What's the difference? I don't think that'll make a difference. Trent, please note that it will be fixed to low when you play through the main scenario. I see. Oh, that's interesting.
Huh. Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Look up, look down. Um, that's fine. Oh, what? What are this? Uh... Change tools. Press and hold. How do I go to inventory? Up. Stone bag. Up and down. Um, I think I'll go with normal. Yeah. I think the audio is fine. We'll see. You learn the recipe for stack of slime. Pixelated protagonist, pixelated prince, princess, legendary line art, knickknack pack. You'll be able to use your downloaded content once you progress to a certain point in the game. Venture forth, my children, and destroy all before you. Does this go by automatically? I guess so. Oh god, that hurts. Let's see. Audio wise. Okay. Uh, thus decreed the great and glorious high priest Hargon, and lo, his minions of mayhem did march out in rank upon rank to ravage the land and strike fear into human hearts. Is the ending of one? Our unholy father then gave up his mortal form so that Maroth. The master of destruction might be reborn and the world of world be consumed by catastrophe. Alas, the mighty Marloroth was defeated at the hands of the despicable spawn of Edric before Hargon's glorious vision could be brought to life. So is this the ending of one or two? I should play through Builders 1 at some point as well. The moon has waxed and waned many times since that fateful day. Oh, I guess this is doing it. Now peace reigns supreme, and our order has been scattered to the four corners of the earth. <gasps> Tell me, brothers and sisters, what does a monster do when backed into a corner? It bites, I say. We must do everything and anything within our power to bring this world to ruin. Huzzah! Huzzah! Hill Horgon! Please, praise be to Malroth. O hellish father, hear our prayer. Deliver us from the world of oblivion. Lead us ever onwards as we build your dominion of darkness together. Dragon Quest Builders 2 Beth. Beth, you are the heel who will save this world. Arise, my child, your destiny awaits. Is this skeleton asshole talking to me? What voice would he have? Oi! Because this game. <laughs> Look on your face. I was only ribbing you, my child. You're no hero. I know that much. You're one of them builders, right? Uh, yes? <laughs> you want to watch that mouth of yours? Girl, telling the truth might land you with far more than you've bargained for. 
Still, at least you're not a master builder. You might only be an apprentice, but that'll do. I've actually got a job for the last like you. Once you've wiped the sleep from your sockets, come and meet me up on deck. Okay. Press to jump. Can I go in first person this way? Yeah. Builder! Builder! I have something to tell to you! Did you know that you can run by holding R1 while moving around with the right stick, L stick? I'm sure the extra speed will come in handy, but take care near high ledges or you might meet your maker sooner rather than later. Wow, yeah, I could find that. Builder, Builder, I have something to tell to you. Press X when you want to examine in something or strike up a conversation with someone. I suggest you remember this advice until the day you die. Oh, and one more thing. Could you ask that girl in the brick to pipe down? She won't stop screaming. How does she expect me to rest in peace when she's being so noisy? Oh, hello. I couldn't help but overhear you hobnobbing with that dreadful dread dead knot. So you're an apprentice builder, are you? I was going to ask if you'd come up with a, if you'd come up with a plan to get us off this ship. But you're far too much of a rank amateur to figure something out like that. Oh, why in God's name did... Did I ever become a builder? If I'd had been a farmer or a miner instead, I'd never have been left to rot in this stinking cell. Sob. We thought the children of Hargon were all but vanquished, that they were running scared. How did they ever turn the tables on us like this? I don't know. Can I open? That's not the right key. I don't have a key. Well, hello. Ah, the builder. Tell me, girl. Do the children of Argon frighten you? Do you wish to flee from this coffin? Those waters are cursed. Strange voices carry across the waves. And many a vessel has vanished into vapor. The crew victims to unknown fate. Now are you scared? Not as scared as I am, I assure you. I'll be off this death trap at the first opportunity. Okay. Why am I hurt? Oh, a slime. Hello. What, what would a slime sound like? This is where we store our cargo. Real similarities to me to call it the Horde. Slime greens? Say you wouldn't be that apprentice builder I've been hearing about, would you? They say you can make all sorts of stuff just from a few bits and bobs. I don't know how you builders do it. Is it dying? Is my stream dying? Let's mute that. No, I think it's fine still. I don't know what that is. Uh... Okay. As the magnif mag magoofin wow. Hargon said destruction awaiteth all those that build to think of that hard work going to waste. Going to waste. Yeah, he's one of those Oi Slayers are no much for you, I see. You just can't keep a good girl down <laughs> Now as you no doubt have spotted, we're sailing on the open ocean. You got no chance of escaping, so don't even bother. I know how markers work. Not that you'd get very far anyway. You're nothing but skin and bones. You have no skin. Here, get this down your gullet. It's fresh from the captain's table, which is where I sit, by the way. <laughs> Beth, Beth, Beth can't remember the last she ate. 
When she last ate, the thought of food makes her stomach start rumbling. Believe it or not, that kelp can be eaten. Select it with right or left on the D-pad and press R2 to eat it. Doing so, refill your fullness gauge and pledge some health. Oh, I gotta drink something. Scoff that kelp before you conk out. Okay. Uh, R2. Down in one. That kelp's pretty tasty, isn't it? The pugnant aroma and slimy texture make for a spine-tingling combination. I can't keep doing that otherwise. It's killing my throat. You should like your lucky stars you got to scoff at such a scrumptious snack because it'll be the last meal you ever eat. Yep, you heard me right, you'll be dead soon enough. But don't worry, you won't be shuffling off this model coil just yet. I got plenty of hard craft for you to be getting with along with the first. <clears throat> Where is my notebook? What do you have? What do you have to say? What about you? Builder, builder, I have something to tell you. If you ever get stuck or can't figure out what to do next, be sure to check back with whoever you spoke to last. I am a spooky ghost. It shows that you're willing to do the job right, and there's nothing wrong with that. Now that's a tip that'll serve you well in this life and the next. Yes, I do horrible voices. You should have seen if you watch my uh, Kingdom Hearts stream. What is that? Oh, that's really funny. Let's go a little bit closer. Just a little. He goes in and out of range, so it's like talk, talk, talk. Yeah. You can wipe that little, little look off your face. I'm not going to send you to the cemetery anytime soon. As long as you got some life left in you, I'll give you a chance to hold of it. Better you have to follow my orders to the letter. Is that a good voice? I should make him sound like Skeletor. What's that? You want to know who we are and what we're doing here? If you're like desperate to find out how far up the creek you are without a paddle, I might add, I might add, go and talk to those five monsters beneath the flag over there. Those monsters will... Okay. How about you? You know, I'm gonna have to call OSHA on you guys. This seems a little dangerous. Not gonna lie. <coughs> Hell's Bells, what a storm we had last night. It washed all the torches overboard and scattered my barrels around the deck. I beg your pardon, you say you slept right through it. Good gracious, you must sleep like a particularly lazy log to have missed a humdinger of a hurricane like that. What do we got? Slime. Hello, Goomin. We're the last surviving members of the Children of Hargon, the ones who didn't get squished. We're gonna bring this world up to its knees, all in the name of the gurist and glorious high priest. Slurp. Slurp. What's with all the- oh god. Which one is slurping? I'm just salivating at the prospect of squishing you goomins once and for all. Slurp, slurp, slurp. What do we got? Ugh, these ships keep swaying from side to side. I feel a bit seasick. What's that? You want to know where we're sailing to? I haven't the foggiest. The higher ups would never tell us. Stop to the lowly little draggy. What the hell are you? Well, well, if it isn't the. Li well, well, if it isn't the little muff. Myth builder, you're only an apprentice, but you're par pranting, pranting, pranting around like you own the place. Honestly, you can't go anywhere without the death, without bumping into an innocent little builder hell bent on doing all of our hard work. The world is 
we're going down the pan. That is for sure. Our only choice is to eliminate bothersome builders like you one by one. Cree hee hee. What about you? You're that apprentice builder we nabbed in Catlin, aren't you? Oh, wow. Apprentice. I must admit I felt a few pace, pangs of sympathy for you. It's not every nice that we know to know that your end is nigh. <laughs> but you. Midnail, Gonok, Moonbrick, from forty of these, from forth these kingdoms, did come the hated heroes, the signs of Edric, and laid Almighty Hagen bow. With his dying breath, our exalted leader surrendered his mortal form so that Marroth, the Lord of Destruction, could be born. At last, he too was vanquished. But does that mean all hope is lost? No, I see. Hargon's ambitions did not perish with him. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will reduce this world to ruin. What do we got? Bored, bored, bored. I'm bored beyond belief. I'm going out of my skull with boredom, I tell you. It's nothing but ocean everywhere I turn. Watch over this way, watch over that way. Just give me something to look that's on the look at that's not the booming horizon. Have you heard? No. I better give you then a quick history lesson then. In an age long since past, this world was ruled with an iron fist. A king among kings, the mighty dragon lord. I was his loyal, one of his loyal foot soldiers, but, at the ma but the master I had so valiantly served was vanquished at the hands of some hotshot hero. So when high priced Hagen rose to power, wasted no time in signing up to join his dishonorable ranks. At last, he, at last, he was destined to, for defeat. Just my luck. Now the other skeletons looked down at me for switching sides. I'm even starting to think the downfall of these great leaders could be something to do with me. This looks dangerous. Oh, all almighty Hargon, how did these hated humans ever manage to defeat you? The whole world not cow before you after you obliterated Moonbrook? <sighs> if only I had risen from my grave in High Priest Hargon's heyday, I would have led an undead of luxury instead of being stuck here on this skeleton crew. Is there someone up there, I wonder? Hello. Scree! Oh, you mean, what are you doing up here? Are you thinking of, of off work too? Just love playing through it, and I don't care who knows. Seeing as you're here, I may as well ask have you spoken to the rest of the crew? From a menagerie of more. What, really? Monsters. They have a friendly bounce, wouldn't you say? I just worry that I've gone a bit soft since Hargan overthrown peace and returned. But you'd better not get the wrong idea. Humans and monsters would never meant to mix. We are enemies. Always have been, always will be. Falling victim. Oh, oh my god. The puns. You'll take damage if you fall from a high place. Conserve your health by descending little by little. No kidding. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, hey, hey. So you talk to the rest of the crew, eh? Completely a little blighter, aren't you? So now you know. We're the last survivors of the children of Hargon. Loyal servants of the mighty master of destruction himself. That means you built... That means you built us as sworn enemies. We stay in the ocean blue, grounded up pesky vermin like you, along with anyone else who gets in the way. Hey, You want to know what, what we're going to do with all these builders? Only the higher ups know for sure, but I'll make no bones about it. I reckon you lot are up for the chop. Still, that doesn't mean... 
we can't make most of what little time you've got left. Just be thankful you can come be of some benefit as your final moment draws ever closer. He's got like eight accents at this point. What? You sit up, Builder. Unless you want to spend the rest of your life behind bars, or worse, to do as I say. So here's the deal. Last night's storm messed up my ship good and proper. I want you to make things ship shape around here again. Oh, that's like Colin. To start with, I want you to break up all the driftwood strewn about the deck and bring me the wood when you're done. Chow on, chop chop. Oh, I can punch stuff? Can I break these? No? Okay. Alright. Well, well, my dear. Looks a lot better. Looks in much better shape now that you picked up all the, that wood. The fire's on you, eh? Still, I suppose being given the chance to save your sorry skin will tend to give you a nick. Kick up the cop. Wait, really? Cox? Coxix? Yeah, Coxix. You want to know why I'm giving you this chance? The truth is, as a sworn server of the massive destruction, I'm not supposed to fraternize with your kind, but considering the state of my ship, I've got no other choice. Anyway, it's not like you're a proper builder. You're only an apprentice at the end of the day, so I'm sure it's fine. You wouldn't forsake me for a little thing like this, right? Anyway, I think we've chewed the fat long enough. If you want to cling on to your life for a little longer, I suggest you continue working in the beautiful little builder you are. Just remember, you can get all sorts of useful materials smashing things up. Just be careful that you don't bash... That what you bash doesn't bash you back. That's... It is killing my voice. You're an odd one. Since the moment I let you out of that cell, you've been scurrying around my deck and chatting with my crew without a care in the world. <clears throat> if anything, I wager you're actually enjoying this. There must be something wrong with you. I can't explain it any other way. I mean, why else would you wear that dopey grin on your mush- your- That dopey grin on your dopey mush. What? <clears throat> mush. Faced with the same fate, most prisoners would be scared witless, but not you. You what? You always look like that when someone's got a job for you. Hmm. It seems you aren't scared of us at all. I better keep you busier. Who knows what you might try and pull. Luckily, there's plenty of you for you to be getting on with. For starters, some of the boys on deck have got jobs that need doing. Report back to me when you sorted them out. God. I've been watching you, Builder. I saw you scrabbling around the deck. God. Uh. Greedily pocketing all the wood you could find. The raging tempest that struck last night washed <coughs> all navigation lights overboard. But such things can be rebuilt, can they not? To wit, I wish for you to use the wood you collected to make some new torches. Do you see that worn out workbench over there? Use it to make five torches here. I believe you will need this oil to craft them. Once you have the torches, you must put them back in their proper positions. The five blocks will be your sign. There is one by the workbench and four more around uh, the stairs that lead below decks. Place one torch upon each block. Do not fail me, builder. Craft the five torches and put them in place. Return to me when you have finished the task. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow, that gives you five each time. Uh, okay. Oh, damn. 
Okay. Hmm. It seems you've done exactly as I asked. The guiding <coughs> flames burn brightly as before. For a ship such as ours, they could do with a, uh, being a touch more sinister, if I do say so myself. But I shan't complain. The deck is illuminated once more. I must say, your propensity to create unsettles me. Not that it matters. You will soon outlive your usefulness. But your work is not over yet. There are others aboard the ship who might still find some use for you. Go to them, I pray. Okay. Oh, here we go. Well, if it isn't the so-called builder, anyone would think you'd own the place the way you're strutting about on this deck. What's with the attitude? You're running errands for the boys and the captain's orders? You want me to give you a job to do? Tell you what, you can help me relieve the boredom of being stuck on this good-for-nothing ship. As long as you're not afraid to put your life on the line. Truth is, I've only always wondered whether builders can fight. How do you feel about going mano a mano with a monster? Or you, fancy taking the swing at this kid. Just trying to not a killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, better put up them... Uh, put them dukes up. I warn you, though, that skeleton soldier is a proper head case. Come find me after the fight's finished, if you can still walk. Oh, he's not dead. Well, you're a better boxer than you look, I'll give you that. Still, the only thing those pathetic punches of your hurt was my pride. Not that I should be surprised. You're pretty bony for someone who claims to be a builder. That doesn't exactly bode well for your future career, does it? Lucky you don't have a future to speak of at all. <laughs> Alright, be off with you. Go tell the bows Go tell the bossin what a weakling you are. Bosun? Is that his name? No. You fight like a cow's cadaver. You builders really aren't cut out for combat after all. What's that? You would have smashed him to smithereens if you'd had a weapon? <laughs> a likely story. You're going to bash him upside the skull with one of those torches. You're such a whiz at whipping up. Don't make me laugh. Huh? What's that book you've got there? A new recipe. Cypress stick. A broken branch whittled to work as a weapon. Don't just stand there smirking. Tell me what's so funny. You what? You just worked out how to make a cypress stick? Well, I never. Are you telling me that builders can invent things as well as make them? Well, don't just stand around looking gomless. Put your money where your mouth is and go make this cypress stick, then. You know where the workstation is, right? And one more thing. Once you've made it, don't forget to equip it. A weapon's no use otherwise. Uh, when you acquire a new weapon, select it and... Is there a way to... Oh wow, this is new. Wow, what is this? Okay, fair enough. The girl remain, uh, the girl genius recurrence. Spice cypress stick in hand. Now you really look the part. What do you say? Fancy another crack of the old bag of bones and let you got a weapon? Yes. Yes, we will kill him. <laughs> That's the spirit. I want to watch the rotter try and put himself back together once you're through with him. Ugh, compound fracture. Ugh. A bone-crushing defeat. I don't know if I can pick myself up after that one. Go on then, lass. Go and brag about beating me to the boss soon. Okay. Well, you certainly gave that bag of bones a good hiding. Just look at that state of him. The only thing he's good for now is feeding a dog. You what? You feel a bit sorry for him. <laughs> That's a new one. I'll wager no human ever shed a tear for a monster before. Just don't think you can butter me up by tickling my funny bone. 
Anyway, thanks for that, Builder. It certainly helped pass the time, if nothing else. I think I even learned something today. You Builders are useless in a fist fight, but with a weapon in hand, you're not to be sneezed at. But you're not uh, done for the day just yet, not by a long shot. I've got a feeling in my bones that someone else on board who needs a helping hand. Ah. Uh. Is it gonna be okay? <clears throat> There's no response, just a pile of bones. Oh, no, wait, he's fine. Oh. Yep, definitely just a pile of bones. You'll get no response out of me. That was an investigative dialogue. He was literally speaking. My, my, you have been a busy little lady, haven't you? First you made those torches, and now a cypress stick. <clears throat> but one can hardly call oneself a builder without one's tools of trade. Where are yours, builder? Do you even have any? No. Alas, not. Other than that simple cypress stick, you haven't a single tool in your possession. So that's a shame. Well, I think we ought to do something about that, haven't we? I confiscated this pair of gloves from the builder in the brig below decks. Now they're yours. <clears throat> With these equips, we'd be capable of hoisting up a whole host of objects without needing to smash them first. A deal for organizing your articles in orderly fashion. So without further ado, take your new gloves, gather up the barrels, strewn around higgledy-piggledy, around the deck, and place them in the map beside me. Da -da -da -da. This is cool. There was a lot of quality of life stuff. Uh... I see. Oh, really? Uh, press... Okay, so like... Nope. Picks up. Okay. Oh, good lord. I knew I was going to fall down this stupid hole eventually. Okay. Wonderful work. Six perfectly positioned barrels. I'm sure I'll agree that a pair of gloves is an indispensable tool for any budding builder. I was under the impression that youth of today were nothing but a swarm of work-shy wit... Wastrels, but based on your showing just now, I may have to reassess my stance. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat. Alas, no matter the blood, sweat, and tears you shed in servitude, you always be a builder, the eternal enemy of our exalted order. I fear your time among us will be a, uh, will be but short, but your fate is not for me to decide. That is the captain's responsibility. It would appear that you have attended to everyone's errands for now. Hurry along and inform me. Uh, inform the good captain you require some uh, more back-breaking chores. Not bad, not bad. Looks like you've done everything the lads asked of you. Nice to see a human working your fingers to the bone for us monsters. Without a word of complaint, neither. If I doubted it before, I'm certain now. You actually like this sort of thing. You're a proper weirdo, you know that? Still, I won't be satisfied until I hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. Do you enjoy building things? Yeah? <laughs> of course you do! That's what gets you out of bed in the morning. As I can tell from the look on your fleshy face. You've got all the markings of a master crafter. And that's why we can't let you live. Complete! Throw self overboard. Well, what do you builders... Well, what with you builders being our mortal enemies and everything, I can't exactly have you running about a stern building like a Billy O, now can I? I'm sorry to say it, kid, but now I'm, uh, I'm going to have to sever, your, uh, sever that smiling skull from your shoulders right now. <laughs> Just tickling your ribs. Don't look so scared. I'm not really going to lop your noggin off. Well, as long as you stay on my good side, that is. After all, I wouldn't want to lose a willing worker like you. I reckon you've got what it takes to be a cracking little cabin girl. 
And what's more, I like the cut of your jib. What do you say, lassie? You'll join my skeleton cruel? Hell yeah. You don't have to say anything, I can tell. You're too overcome with joy to thank me now. Actually, there's something I've been uh, meaning to ask you. What's that big book you're lugging around? I've never seen anything like it before. Uh... Huh? Where did this rain come from? Wow, you'll have to tell me later, Lassie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Is he... Is he Irish? Or Scottish? That's Scottish, isn't it? Well, you'll have to tell me later, Lassie. Looks like there's another storm rolling in. Ah, Apprentice Builder, you will do nicely. Ah, uh, Apprentice Builder, you will do nicely. Okay. I hope I don't have to replace my control anytime soon. Who the hell is talking? This is your world to create, and yours to destroy. That's a neat looking effect. <laughs> okay. Come on, I, I don't read that slowly. Now, come to me, my child. Oi, Clothy, is what you gawking at? Didn't you hear me? I told you to get your fleshy rump below decks and into the hold. It's far too dangerous up here for a landlubber like you. <clears throat> Why didn't I just do that to begin with? That's so much less uh, harsh on my throat. Well, what the heck's going on? That's a good question. Uh, Captain, come to the hole. Oh, wow. Ca Captain, come to the hole quickly. We're knee deep in goo goo down here. Blimey, I don't like the sound of this. Yeah. Hold tight, I'm on my way. You're right there, Belter. Huh. But I can't be stopping to help some human. I've got to get the hold. Get up. <clears throat> Hogan preserve us. This is bad. This is really bad. Hey, Builder, get your bounty backside in here. Pronto, I need your help. Get up, you idiots. Over here, Builder. Oh, I got the, uh... Yeah? What took you so long, eh? Oh, I've got bad news, Builder. We've been swept clean right into the reef, and it looks like uh, rocks clean through our hole. If we don't fix this fast, we'll be heading down to JV Down to Locker. I don't know if this will work, but try cramming a crate in that hole. You've got a pair of gloves, don't you? So use them. Okay. Oh, there goes another one. That was clo That was a closer shave than I liked. But you did it. You saved my... Oh, throw me a bow and no more, no, not more holes. That's a lot of holes. Oh, we're taking on more water. You gotta do something, use more crates to plug up these holes. Computer. Hello, computer. Isn't that what that is? You're a lifesaver, Builder. I know. I owe you one. What a run with that rock made mince me to my hull. The next wave the hits is good. Oh, I knew it. It's a race against time, Builder. Cram some more crates in those holes in hurry. You're short on my ship good and proper, Builder. I don't know where he'd be without you. She'll hold for now, but who knows how much look. Oh, throw me a bone, we're done for. Holy moly, look at that one. We don't have any crates big enough to hold. big enough to plug up the hole that size. Or that one. This is it, Builder. It's nice knowing you. Don't forget me, Builder! Ooh, CG.
wonder how they're going to handle the um the boss battles in this. Oh, this is okay, it's fine. Oh. Well. Beth awakens on a sandy shore. It seems she's washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship. Uh, she decides to take a look around to see what she can see. Ah, it's got that Minecraft slow, like, thing. Oh, interesting. Oh, cool. Okay, so what's the difference map-wise? Ah, I see. So the difference is, I might keep it on... I don't know. Might as well grab this. Don't need to eat? Yeah. Suddenly, Beth hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where's this place anyway? How did I even get here? The voice seems to be coming from uh, the other side of the rocky outcrop. Beth might be able to dig through the sand uh, to get to the other side. Oh, is that one of those things? Oh, there we go. Uh, can I... Uh, put item in bag? Down? Oh, I don't have a- do I not have a bag yet? Oh, I don't have a bag. Okay, I see. Oh, is that why I can't do anything yet? Okay, I wondered about that. I was like, uh, why the heck can't I do anything? Land of infinite opportunity. I love awakening. This game's apparently really long. I mean, the first one was kind of long too, but apparently this is a lot longer. So, which map do I like more? Oh, they're pretty much exactly the same. Or are they? This is terrible. Uh... Uh... 
no. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much exactly the same. Because it has an autosave system. Holy crap. I didn't expect it to take this long. Uh, am I playing on the PS2 or something? So what does the map look like? Ah, okay. Can I zoom in? No. The sky is such a strange color. Have it hadn't gone to heaven, or hell, more likely. Huh? What's that noise? Hey, Bunches, who the heck are you? Bunches? Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how we wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach. So how come you didn't crack cark it, too? What's your story? Uh, your name's Beth, and you're an apprentice builder. Mm -hmm. Huh? Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name's Malroth. Hey, you want to see something really gruesome? Follow me. What's the matter? You're not, a, you're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. Uh, okay. Oi, this way? Uh, you mean all these dead people? Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you never see anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from that shipwreck. You were in that cell? What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Cough. Splutter. What the... Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. We should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. Ugh. Gasp. Where am I? How did I get here? Oh! Y you're pirates, aren't you? Filthy freebooting brigands. Who shall take me captain as a man of ransom for my safe return? Ah, uh, uh, okay. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There's only one way. Uh, may. There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? There's no response. It's just a corpse. Oh, now it's gone. Boy oh, breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. And there they go. Get away from me, you villains. If you're gonna take me captive, at least tell me where we are and how we got how I got here. We're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks and a few corpses to keep us company. You must must have washed up here with Beth when your ship sank. Just a moment, do I know you? Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran grinning the one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. I know you were in cahoots the, with them. So that so that means this is all your fault. Well, what are you gonna do about it? You're gonna make things you're gonna make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party. Oh well, alright. Even a rank amateur like you should be able to use that worn out workbench outside. Uh, to make the most basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now, what do we need to hold up? How... Uh... Now, what will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Lulu's demands. Make a room. Oh, that's cool. Uh, we'll need shelter from the elements while we wait uh, to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. Uh, the walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves here. Pick it up, and you won't have to worry about... God, swinches that way. 
We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough sustenance to tide us over until we're rescued. <clears throat> There's bound to be a uh, scallywinkle oh, or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on the bonfire first. Uh, you need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there are plenty of dr uh, pieces of drift world and broken barrels from the shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. Now, I can't be expected to put my head down for a night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm going to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of building uh, four posters, so we, we shall have to make do with these piles of straw building. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here, anyway? Oh, pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. I don't think you're impressing anyone anyone with those oh so mighty muscles say that again and I'll show you how oh mighty those muscles are oh builder you'll do these favors for me won't you you'll save me from this savagery fine that's wonderful I knew you'd do exactly as I asked you consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like then when you become a fully fledged builder you'll have to thank me for it training exercises who does this girl think she is remember what I said about said before about putting her out of our misery. Well, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Oh, out of her misery. That girl really gives me the hump. First she won't stop whining, then the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the end of the day, not her skivvy. Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. <laughs> she's a castaway at the end of the day. Some, uh, same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto. Hmm. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. You know you said you were a builder? Mm -hmm. Is that, like, something to do with duck's nose? A duck's nose? A bil- Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you. But only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of our engines will first? It was up to me. I'd bend these walls while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes. And presto, we built, buildered ourselves a brand new room. Right? To be honest, I blacked, blanked out at the rest of her request. Sneak, speak to her again if you need to rem a reminder. Room. You repaired my room. Now I have something to somewhere to hide and safety should monsters attack. Not bad for uh, a base apprentice. Just so you know, the walls uh, a room must have a door and walls in at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. <clears throat> anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay. And you two are very welcome to stay. Stop by any time you like. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Uh, right. Next up is dinner. She wants us to cook some of those scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something you can do? Bonfire. A big uh, bundle of branches that burns brightly can be used to cook food. Why do I have so much? What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires? And how can you build one if you have enough materials? All you need to put, uh... All you need to do is put together some wooden oil on that worn-out workbench? Well, if it's oil I need, I can give you some. I wrung out... Wrung this out of a slime that got in my way earlier. Here. All you need is wood. That girl said you can get some from driftwood and broken barrels on the beach. Whatever that means. Anyway, you'd better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her... And an even worse mood than she already is in. I didn't see any of those. I'm not seeing any food. Hey Beth, I want to ask you something. 
I keep hear about uh, hear about making and materials and builders, but what does this actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you use to make new stuff. That's what the being a builder is all about. Ah, uh, okay. I think I'm starting to get a clear picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? Look, they might look. They may might be ten a penny where you're from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. Well, not that I remember, anyway. When I get my Mary Mary back, I'll tell you all about my blissful builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know the scally wrinkles we were asking about? There might be some knocking uh, about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them for ourselves. What's that funny looking thing you got there? It wouldn't be one of those skelly, skelly wrinkles that the girl was jabbering on about, by chance. Uh, well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn, and that's something I'd rather avoid. All right. Uh, here. What's that you made? It's hot as heck, and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. Mm. But he sure you know what you're doing with that. You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? Uh, let's cook food. <laughs> Careful, Beth. That scallywinkle fell just just fell in the fire. Ah, uh, that must be how you cook. You be how you cook it, so you builders can make food too, eh? Still, it'll be a little while to that scallywinkle's completely cooked. Let's go out and look for some more materials while we wait. Uh, okay. Can I make a bed yet? Here's the thing I need. What the hell is that? Uh, Beth examines the strange stone carving, but nothing happens. Okay. Okay. Build some beds. Sniff, sniff that aroma. Is that the smell of a succulently seared scallywinkle? I must have it. Sure. Ah, oh, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly 
uh, crunch of the sand grain. Simply irresistible. But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know. If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on the bonfire. I find cooked meal uh, much more filling than raw fare. It makes it far uh, makes me feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Oh, how rude of me! I just realized I never asked your names. Beth and Malroth, you say. I know you're a builder, Beth, but what do you do, Malroth? Well, I'm. Actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. <laughs> well, well, an apprentice builder and her amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like her, you must be dreaming. Yawn. Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that seared scallywinkle filled me up nicely. Beth, how is the progress going with straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Eureka! Here we go, she's got her book out again. What have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you can make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw some drying grass here along the west. Could that be what you're looking for? This is wonderful, Beth. You made a bed for me, and a couple for yourselves, too. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies, and after the sun goes down, we'll be able to uh, while away the dark and dangerous dreams and night. Sigh. I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder, and on a desert island, no less. Uh, when the children of Hargan attacked my, my home town of Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. Uh, so I stood away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths. But I was caught before I had a chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be removed on a desert island with these two lumbering lum lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. Uh, anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting our sleeping arrangements. It's been a while, a long, hard day. I suggest we all get some weller and rest. <laughs> Let's see now. You've prepared the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, and made me supper. I do believe that's everything. I must say, that's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine that you were still only learning the ropes. I know we're stranded here, but in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do so that you might blossom as a builder. <laughs> the castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think uh, this could be a fun little adventure. As for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture and maybe even some manners. Now, Beth. Now then, Beth. I want you to go out first at first light every morning and forage 30 scallywinkles and 50 strips of kelp. It must all be cooked by lunch and tariffs. I'm not going to do anything for you. <laughs> Can I... Oh, wow. Hmm. 
Hmm. What is this crap? Oh my god. Holy ha uh, crap. Oh. Uh, oh, I see. I thought I could, like... Oh, okay, I see. That's how they do that. Hang on, Beth. We're not done for the day just yet. I thought Lulu might calm down for a bit once she got what she wanted, but she's just as big of a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all our nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. I wish I could do what you do. Sigh. Uh, hey Beth, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try making something myself. Sure. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, Beth. I'm going to be a builder just like you. Now then, what do you? What was you do first? Yep. <laughs> what did you do? No, that's not right. Wow. Damn it! Why isn't this working? All right, you ask for it, Gah. Whoa. Uh, what did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Gah, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. Sorry, Beth. I'll be relying on you to build things for me from here on out. Oh, good. And seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. What do you want? An oaken club. Is that for me? What would I want with a silly old stick? It's not just any stick, it's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff? <laughs> Sounds right up my alley, alright. I'll take it. Give it here. Hey, this really this uh, really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Only one way to find out. Stand back while I give it, uh, this beauty a few test swings. Wow. <sighs> I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes would be such much, much more satisfying now. And I think you made it only using the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. This club gives me, the club. This club is the best present anyone's ever given me. I think. Mm -hmm. Huh? Beth, can you feel that? Mm. Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster. But whatever it is, it's a way. It's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw. <laughs> this could be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down on the coast to the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. I don't want to bring any food with me. Oh well. Da 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 da. Whoa. What was that? When I struck your hand out, when you struck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five. It's something done with friends do to celebrate a job well done. Huh? 
Never thought of myself as a touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high-five malarkey. Huh. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling uh, fitter already. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> I'm stuck in first person. Feel, uh, felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like uh, irritating little itch has been well and truly uh, scratched. But don't forget, you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to the construction, you can leave me to monster mashing to me. Still, building does look like fun. I wish I could make stuff like you do, but I guess wanton destruction is more my bag. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, all right. You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. Beth. I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. Uh, health. Cool. Apparently so. Yawn. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast and then from the be Eek! No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my scallywinkle. It's disappeared. Did you eat it? What? Alright, Maroth. Own up. I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that seared scallywinkle last night. So I can have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. What are you mutter, uh, withering on about? I haven't touched your manky half much mollusk. Huh? That aura. What's going on this time? Hey, you two. You're getting... You're going to want to... See, hey, you two. You're going to want to see this. Aha! There's the culprit. That monster must be the one sna that who snapped my scullywinkle. Ho ho ho! Oh! Oh my! Huh! Whoa! It just took down the whole cliff, and are, are those steps? Ho ho! This way, young whippersnappers. Okay. That floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Huh. On second thoughts, uh, maybe it'll be able to tell us something about this island. Beth, Lulu, let's get it. let's get after that monster. I've got some questions I need answering. Okay. Might as well get some building materials really quickly. Okay. Alright, I will be right back in a second. Let me add a marker. <laughs> 